What up, humans? Karumi here, and welcome to the Mobile Legends Bootcamp. In this video, we are going to talk about the support assassin hero, Matilda. Matilda has a good set of blank burst and area of effect skills. Our swift boom, Matilda, is a support assassin hero. I consider Matilda as a burst mage assassin since her wisp steals burst magic damage. Not only that, her skills grants her and her allies lots of shield to help them sustain during team fights. Now, let me share some tips and tricks on how to use Matilda based on my experience. We will also teach you some combos and techniques on the latter part of this bootcamp, but before that, let me explain her skills one by one for further understanding. Matilda's passive, Ancestral Guide, lets her deal extra magic damage to the enemy. She gains Ancestral Guidance charges while moving. When it is fully charged, her next basic attack is enhanced and will deal magic damage to the target. It will also increase her movement speed which decays rapidly. As long as she travels a distance using any method like blink skills or spells, she will gain some charges. The enhanced basic attack not just boosts your attack with magic damage, it also boosts your movement speed which you can use to chase enemies further. Matilda's first skill, Soul Bloom, lets her summon wisps around her. Always on the way. Upon using, she summons wisps to surround her for a few seconds. Every distance she moves during the duration, she attracts more and more wisps to surround her. After casting this skill again or when it reaches time limit, the wisps will attack nearby enemies and deal magic damage to the target. The magic damage is reduced when it hits the same target. The wisps prioritize as enemy heroes first before minions. Even just in the early game, the damage of the wisps are massively impressive. So better spam this to make the enemies go back to their mother's womb as soon as possible. Just click on this skill again if you think you had enough wisps before the time limit comes. Every second counts, so better think critically on your decisions. The wisps will still target an enemy nearby even if they're in a bush. When no enemies are nearby when you use this skill again or it reaches timeout, then the wisps will just disperse and go home to watch Netflix. Matilda's second skill, Guiding Wind, lets Matilda leap forward. Upon using, she creates a field surrounding her and leaps towards the specified direction. Upon landing, she gains a shield and additional movement speed for a short period. The dash and movement speed can help you gain charges for your passive and first skill, since both considers distance traveled even during your flight. The shield can save you from death if you use it well. So always pray that your second skill is available when you are almost dying like in this scenario. The leap and movement speed can also help you escape from possible death. You can also try dodging enemy area of effect skills with a dash. The allied units who are within the field will receive a shield. If you see a dying ally, you can just dash towards them to grant them shield to save them from death. The allied units within the field will also acquire skill called Guiding Wind. When they use Guiding Wind, that hero will be pulled towards Matilda and both of them will gain additional movement speed. The Guiding Wind skill can be used to gank efficiently with an ally because they can even fly with you during your ultimate skill. The Guiding Wind is best used with an ally that has a crowd control skill like Guinevere, Atlas, or Tigreal. Although, we met death on this scenario. They can also use the Guiding Wind skill granted by this skill so they can dash towards you to save their self. When using this skill during her ultimate skill, she will gain a shield but, she won't change her position but will continue with the path of her ultimate skill. The allied hero will lose guiding wind skill after leaving the field after a few seconds. Only one allied hero can use the guiding wind since she will reclaim all guiding wind when one teammate uses it. Matilda's ultimate skill, Circling Eagle, lets Matilda fly like a free eagle. Always on the way. She applies a soul mark to the target hero and then circles around the target for a few seconds. During the flight, wisps will rush to nearby enemies which deals magic damage. 
After casting this skill again or reaching the time limit, she will rush to the target and will knock back, stuns them, and deals magic damage. The range of this skill is also far which can help you chase enemies for no mercy killing. It's best to gather full charges for your first skill during the flight. Just click on it again if you think the after dash will complete the stacks and when it is safe to do so. The knockback and stun can also help your allies survive in times of need. Take note that the targets you hit during the eagle dive will also be stunned. You can also use the knockback from behind the target to push them out of their safe area. You can also try dodging enemy area of effect skills with the flight with the right and accurate timing. During the circling around the target, she gains a shield and she is crowd control immune from certain effects. This is best utilized when diving in under turrets for survivability. We did experiments which crowd control effects in which certain heroes can counter her flight. These can be found in our laboratory me experiment video for Matilda on our YouTube channel. There are so many items that you can buy for Matilda. You can focus on items that grants magic power, movement speed, and items that give you additional effects. You can use the Ku Romi Way build if you want to be a roaming support with an assassin killing potential. We chose the following items to bring out Matilda's burst potential while being supportive. Ah, uh, mask to slow and stun the target. Buying masks will grant you gold and EXP when you are ranking last on gold and EXP farmed on your team. This makes you worry no more on farming while visiting lanes non-stop for more hero killings. Demon Shoes gives you mana regeneration and you also restore mana every time you kill a minion or engage in enemy hero killings. Ice Queen Wand will let you slow down enemies every time they are hit with your skill. It also grants you additional magic lifesteal and additional movement speed so you can travel faster. Holy Crystal will grant you a large amount of magic power which will improve your skill damage. Genius Wand will let you reduce the target's magic defense which stacks for each damage dealt to the target. Lastly, Blood Wings will grant you lots of magic power and lots of health points depending on your magic power. This build will bring out the best of Matilda's supportive skills while dealing burst damage in the long run. On the other hand, you can use the Swift Killer build if the enemy's lineup has lots of squishy heroes like marksmen and mages. This build focuses on your extreme burst capability as a mage assassin. Lightning Truncheon will deal burst magic damage up to 3 enemies when casting a skill every few seconds. Divine Glaive will grant you magic penetration which will penetrate through the enemy's magic defense. Lastly, you can use the Lane Support build if you prefer to be support a specific ally in your lane. Necklace of Durance will decrease the regeneration effects of the enemies hit by your skills. Immortality will resurrect you upon dying. Upon resurrection, you are given a certain amount of health points and a little bit of shield to protect you somehow. Lastly, Oracle increases your health regeneration effects and amount of shield gained. The item build for Matilda really depends on the enemy's lineup. So make sure to read each item's description so you can adapt in-game. One of the best spells to be used on Matilda is Flicker. You can use it to escape danger, even death. You can also use this skill to gain some charges for your passive and your first skill for the distance traveled. You can also consider Sprint. This can really help you run from danger or chase enemies. The movement speed can also help you gain charges for your skills. In my opinion, the best emblem set to be used is the Custom Support Emblem set. Custom Support Emblem could provide extra stats according to your needs as a Support Assassin. Set Agility to its max level because it can give you additional movement speed. Setting Rupture to max level will provide Hybrid Penetration. Higher Hybrid Penetration means you can deal more damage to enemies. Get Focusing Mark to increase the damage dealt of your allies to your target after dealing damage to that enemy. But if you are going for a non-support role, then you can go for Custom Mage Emblem set. Impure Rage will deal extra damage depending on the enemy's current HP, and it also restores you some mana. Set first skill to max level first. Prioritizing this makes the damage output higher. Prioritize second skill less since your first skill is what you need for better damage dealing. Always upgrade ultimate skill when available for upgrading. In terms of her combo, we usually use a smooth combo for Matilda. There are lots of combos you can simply use for Matilda depending on the situation. But let me show you a combo that will use all your skills full potential. First, use your first skill to call the Wisps. If the target is just near, you can deal your basic attack if it is enhanced by your passive skill. Then, use your ultimate skill to the target. This will let you fly around the target. 
With that, you will gain charges for your first impassive because of the distance traveled. Then, click on your ultimate skill again if you think that you have enough wisps or when you just want to do so. Then, deal basic attacks. Then, use your second skill to either chase the enemy or escape possible death. This will grant you a shield that could help you sustain further inside the team fight. Use your spell anytime within this combo depending on the situation. Additional tip, the shield granted to Matilda by her skills are so massive that she can even dive inside turrets with less worries. So better abuse the shield granted by your second and ultimate skill when ganking enemies with your teammates. Another one to also take note is her mobility. With the movement speed buff from your passive and second skill, and also the blink from your second and ultimate skill, you can just go dodging skills every now and then like a free eagle you are. The tips I mentioned are just some of the ways you can use Matilda. This video just guides you on how to use Matilda, the Kurumi way. So, once again, this is Kurumi and that's how you use Matilda. Thanks for watching, do not forget to like and share this video. Also subscribe to our channel for more contents by clicking on the subscribe button below. For our skin giveaway events, check out the community tab for the giveaway post. We have our coffee account just in case you want to donate us some coffee funds. Check our coffee link on the description of this video. Please only trust bootcamp videos from our official accounts. See you on the next Mobile Legends bootcamp. Cheers.